Welcome to Pride Rock Entertainment for another movie synopsis with complete ending. If you are new on this channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The film story begins in a New York apartment with a boy named Alex who is shown to have the talent of writing horror stories. He was fond of writing. He was looking upset tonight and thinks to burn all stories written by him. His parents also didn't understand his behavior. They think maybe he is doing all this for liking horror a lot. Alex also hears this. Then he comes out of the house while taking his bag. He wants to go to the boiler room through the lift so that he can burn all the horror books of him. But suddenly, the lift stops on a floor. Even after Alex's try, it wasn't working. He notices the light coming from the front apartment. When he goes to check, he notices that his favorite horror film is playing there. There was a pumpkin pie that was Alex's favorite. Alex gets faint as he eats it. He awakes and finds himself in a small closet. When he comes out and checks, he discovers the door was locked. He notices a lot of clothes of kids in a cupboard. At the same time, he sees at the window. He goes near window and calls his parents. He doesn't get any response. He jumps from the window. However, he returns to that room via a cupboard. Then the light blinks. A frightening voice was also heard. It inquires about Alex's name. Meanwhile, a black shadow is shown there. Alex also gets scared seeing it. It is discovered that it was a shadow of a witch. She inquires of Alex, did you bring anything special? Alex gets panicked and didn't understand anything. The witch shows him clothes in the cupboard. She tells him that these are the clothes of the children I imprisoned. None of them were of any use to me, and the witch asks the same question again, is there is anything special in you? Being scared Alex says yes. He tells her, yes, I can write the horror stories. After it, Alex shows her his book. It decides between them Alex will tell her a story every night. If Alex will not tell her any story the witch will finish him. The next day, Alex finds a cat and it can also disappear. The cat attacks him as Alex goes near it. It takes Alex out of the room. Alex comes to a room and discovers dolls in a cupboard. After it, when Alex moves forward a girl appears in front of him. This girl was named Yasmin. She was also imprisoned by the witch as Alex. She tells Alex that the witch is named Nanasha. The cat also belongs to Nanasha. Alex discovers that at this time he is in a magical apartment. This magical apartment travels to different parts of the world. It traps and imprisons the kids like them. Natasha makes those kids do her tasks. The kid who will be of no use to Natasha vanishes for good. Yasmin warns Alex he has to do the assigned task. Then Yasmin takes Alex to a magical library. Alex notices a thousand storybooks here. Yasmin informs Alex every night, I also tell Natasha a story. I have read all the books you were seeing here. She asks Alex to write a new story in it. Alex says I can't think something new. I will tell her a story from my own storybook. Yasmin claims this is insufficient because you are now trapped for the rest of your life. If you want to stay alive you have to write new stories. But here Alex was thinking something else. Alex notices the door gets open when the witch returns at night. Alex runs to go there. Suddenly, a wall was constructed there. The witch Nanach also knows this. That Alex tried to escape so she warns Alex. Don't think of this again. Alex tells her his first story at night and notices Natasha is sprinkling a blue perfume on herself. Meanwhile, everything starts shaking there. Natasha asks Alex to start the story immediately. The story was named The Playground, in which a boy appears in a graveyard to say the last goodbye to his dead friend. There, some souls of kids try to stop him for always, but his friend escaped him. They promise they will be friends for always. Later, they move to their paths. The earth starts shaking when Alex finishes his story. Natasha becomes furious seeing this. She asks Alex to change the happy ending of this story. Changing the story somehow, Alex again brings the kid into the graveyard. Due to it, the kid was imprisoned there for the rest of his life. The earth stopped shaking with the sad ending of the story. Natasha warns her, listen carefully, I don't want to hear any happy ending. Then she sees the storybook of Alex. She says these stories aren't enough so you have to write something new. Alex thinks a lot while sitting in the library but couldn't think of any new stories. For this, he starts checking the books there. Reading a book, he finds a hidden message in it. He discovers it is written by a girl. The girl has been imprisoned by the witch while showing a unicorn. He asks Yasmin about it. She says not there is nothing like this. That girl came here while seeing her favorite dish. As you came here after having the pumpkin pie, which was your favorite. Alex believes there is a message in the unicorn girl messages to get out of here. Thinking this, he checks the other messages. With it, while changing the happy ending of the old stories. Somehow tells Nanacha every day a new story. He notices Nanacha doesn't like these stories, she used to say him. A good story always alludes to reality. 
Then he finds the next message of the unicorn girl. It was written, I have the thing, and with its help, I can get out of here. Meanwhile, Yasmin also arrives. Before Alex tells her anything, she asks for help to set Natasha's magical garden. Yasmin tells him Natasha makes her magical drinks from here. Today they have to finish those eggs whose creatures can ruin this garden. But then a skull spider appears from the egg. While removing the other eggs, they try to capture the spider somehow. In this try, Yasmin hardly escaped from the spider. She throws it there and leaves. While capturing the spider, the cat is stuck in a net. Alex arrives at the right time and saves the cat. Natasha tortures Yasmin as a result of the destruction in the garden. To save her, Alex says, it was all my fault. Leave her, Natasha leaves while warning them. Yasmin gives a medic me to Alex. Alex spreads the medicine on that cat. Here it is shown the cat becomes their friend. Maybe it likes them. Alex tells Yasmin my stories are about to end. Now we have to escape somehow. On it, Yasmin makes him understand. It is not possible, because there are only two ways, one from where you came. Another way is used by Natasha. She used to keep the path's key hidden. Here, Alex was panicked and worried. He says to Yasmin maybe my death is near. Yasmin informs him Natasha didn't murder the children but transformed them into dolls. She tells them while showing the dolls they were my friends, but Natasha made them doll one by one. Alex notices the dolls were wearing something, such as a watch, earrings, and a bracelet Yasmin tells him they used to wear in real life. Here, Alex tells her about the unicorn girl. He also shows her the locket draw by her in a book. They notice no doll was wearing that locket. It means that the unicorn girl has escaped somehow. They move to the library in search of more clues. They discover a recipe for a magical drink in a book that Natasha can sleep with. Three was a problem that the drink has a strong smell. The unicorn girl hasn't written any cure for it. It means how the smell can be removed. Alex hits an idea to write a story, in which Natasha will tell them about removing the smell of the drink. Then Natasha again puts on that blue perfume. Alex starts telling his story. He tells her there was a magician. He used to keep a monster sleep all the time with a magical drink. He used to do this to take out the diamonds from its mouth. The liquid used to remove the odor from his magical drink was finished one day. Unwillingly, the magician moves to kill the monster. A girl arrives and claims to be able to remove the odor from your magical drink. That girl puts two, three drops of the liquid into the magical drink. It has the unintended consequence of converting the magical drink into an ordinary drink. Its magic was taken away, and the monster did not sleep. The magician is defeated by the monster. At the end of the story, Natasha asks Alex like always to tell the reality. She tells the name of the real liquid, from which the odor of the magical drink can be removed. Their plan was succeeded here. They start working on their mission. Yasmin creates the magical drink after gathering the items from the magical garden. As they mix it into the juice its color changes. Seen it, those kids get scared. Because Natasha was waiting for her food and story. Alex has no story. Meanwhile, the bottle of the magical drink also disappeared. They get frightened while thinking maybe Natasha has discovered their plan. Natasha again puts on the perfume. Getting scared, Alex also starts telling his story. He was panicked and seeing it. Natasha snatches his book. When she notices the empty book she becomes furious. As she was about to turn them into a doll she gets faint. Meanwhile, the cat arrives. Seeing the bottle in its hand they understand. It has mixed it in Natasha's perfume. They then emerge after obtaining Natasha's key. They notice a forest but soon Yasmin realizes the trees are not real. They understand that this place is also a part of the apartment. Suddenly, a unicorn attacks them. Escaping from it they reach a place there was a chocolate hut. They get faint after eating the chocolates there. Waking up Alex sees Natasha has imprisoned Yasmin and Kat. There he notices another witch sleeping in the coffin. A blue light emanated from her and moved to the perfume bottles. Natasha arrives and tells all the reality. Actually, she is the true witch. I challenged her power through these perfumes. This witch brought me here as a prisoner. She used to eat the kids. She has eaten all of my friends. Wisely, I become her favorite. I succeeded in escaping from here with the help of the magical drink. Reaching home, I noticed my parents weren't there. That's why I returned to this apartment because I had no place to go. From then I have slept the real witch and I become the witch. Here they discover the unicorn girl like none other than Natasha. The earth again starts shaking. They discover that everything is happening as a result of the sleeping witch. Natasha tells him horror stories keeps her sleep. That's why I used to listen to the horror stories from you. She asks Alex to tell a new story immediately. She says otherwise we all will be killed. Here, Alex tells his story. That, 
why he was going to burn the horror store books of him. He tells he liked the horror stories, but because of it, the kids made fun of me. My best friend always supported me. I invited my best friend on my birthday one day. My parents have set the theme of the haunted house. Alex discovered here that his best friend was also like others. He also made fun of him. He insulted Alex and left. Being upset from this, I was going to burn my books. After hearing the story The Sleeping Witch gets relaxed, Nadash also becomes happy seeing this. Then Alex continues his story. One day a witch imprisoned me because of those stories. Here I found Yemen and the cat as good friends. He says this had become the best time of my life because of it. Due to the happy ending of the story, the sleeping witch awakes but Nadachi tries to stop her. But the dark powers of the witch were dominant on her. The witch finishes Nadachi. Getting a chance, Alex and Yasmin escape while taking the cat with them. While leaving Yasmin picks up a bottle of the magical perfume. They came to a wall, and it was the wall from which Alex entered this apartment. Yasmin sprinkles the perfume on her and the hidden door appears. Passing from there they come into a lift. The witch also comes and attacks them. After it, they go to the boiler room but the witch also chases them. The cat also tries to stop her but it couldn't. The witch moved forward to finish Yasmin. Alex remembers that witch likes the stories. He starts telling her the story with his empty book. The witch likes the story because Alex creates suspense in it. At the end of the story, when the witch asks, Alex throws his book into the boiler. To know the ending of the story the witch also jumps into the boiler, and they hurriedly shut the door. The witch was finished due to burning. After it, they move to Alex's home. Alex's parents become happy after seeing him. It was also discovered from the newspaper that Yasmin has also sent to her family. She again comes to meet Alex after some days. She gifts him a diary so he will write more stories. The magical apartment is shown in the past credit scene of the movie. Natcha is still shown to be alive. This is where the film ends. Thank you for your time.